Good morning, Tina. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? I am good. My name is Tori. I am Dr. Shaman's medical assistant. I want to verify a few things with you. Okay. Can you give me your name? It's Tina Lakin. And your date of birth? 421. Verify the patient's identity with her full name and date of birth. Make sure the patient's information matches the order and the record. Provide the right education to the patient. Explain the medication ordered, provider ordering the medication, the desired effect, and common side effects. Answer any questions the patient may have. Use language the patient can understand. Ask the patient if he or she has any allergies. Tina, how are you feeling today? Not feeling very well. Okay, Dr. Anderson has ordered a penicillin injection for you today, and that should allow you to feel better and get rid of the infection, okay? Okay. Do you have any allergies to medications that you know of? If the patient refuses the medication, respectfully ask the patient the reason and notify the provider. Sanitize your hands again and put on gloves. Loosen the cap on the needle so that you'll be able to open it with one hand once you clean the injection site. Open the alcohol wipe. Find the site using the landmarks. Cleanse the patient's skin with the alcohol wipe using a circular motion and moving outward from the center. Use some friction to help clean the site. Create about a two inch circle at the site. Let the site dry. Place a gauze square between your index and middle finger of your non-dominant hand. To compress fat and stabilize the muscle, place your non-dominant hand on the patient's shoulder. With that hand, use your index finger and thumb to pinch up at the cleansed area. Hold a gauze square between your index and middle finger of your non-dominant hand. And with the thumb and first two fingers, spread the skin tightly and grasp the muscle deeply on each side. Hold the sight. Pick up the syringe and tip it to remove the cover. Hold the syringe like a dart in your dominant hand. Quickly and smoothly insert the needle into the sight using a 90 degree angle depending on the needle size. Insert the entire needle. It is important to aspirate before giving an intramuscular injection. Check the barrel of the syringe for blood. If blood is seen, pull out the needle and discard. Then restart the procedure. It is important not to give the injection if the needle is in the bloodstream. If no blood is seen, inject the medication at a rate of about 10 seconds per milliliter. Ensure all the medication has been injected before pulling out the needle at the same angle as entry. Activate the needle safety device with one hand while the other hand covers the site with gauze. Gently apply pressure at the site to stop any bleeding. Apply a bandage if the patient requests it. Remember that some bandages may contain latex, which can be an allergen to some people. Some people may be allergic to the adhesive. Discard the needle and syringe in a biohazard sharps container. Make sure to put the needle in first. Observe the patient for any adverse reactions. Clean up the area. Discard all waste, including your gloves, in the biohazard waste container. Sanitize your hands. Document the procedure in the health record. Include assessments done, patient allergies, teaching or instructions provided, the provider ordering the medication, the medication name, dose, route, and how the patient tolerated the medication. Also include the manufacturer, lot, and expiration date for vaccines.